Hi, I'm Kontiktev and I recently had a crazy idea of using my idle mobile devices as a video render cluster. I have used the following FFmpeg command to compress a 4K H.264 footage to H.265 footage with a CRF, which stands for Constant Rate Factor, of 22, both on my Android phone and on my Mac. The command uses pure software encoding and is multi-threaded by default. Both on my phone and my computer, all the CPU cores were utilized about 95% during encoding. I have used Homebrew on my Mac to install the FFmpeg package, whereas on my Android, I have used the Termax. The speed difference between my quad-core Intel i7 4850HQ 15-inch MacBook Pro and my 8-core Exynos 7885 Samsung phone was an astounding 1000%. There is a 10 fold difference overall, or 20 fold difference per core. The Intel CPU in my 15 inch MacBook Pro is rated for a 45 watt TDP, which stands for Thermal Design Power, whereas my phone's ARM CPU is rated for a measly 5 watts. There is a 9 fold difference in the thermal envelope of these CPUs, so that must explain the difference in the performance, right? Not really. If you check out the Geekbench score for these two CPUs, the difference is only 2.5 fold. This is very much in line with my expectations. I would expect ARM CPUs to be substantially more power efficient than desktop processors. So seeing an ARM processor to be about two times more power efficient per Geekbench score is perfectly normal to me. So why is the H.264 encoding with FFmpeg is 10 times slower on an ARM processor? According to my research, X265 library used by FFmpeg is not well optimized for ARM yet. Quoting directly from the official X265 project's response on the discussion on this topic in Doom 9 forums. We have some limited ARM Neon optimization, but this is not anywhere near complete as our X86 SIMD optimization. We have discussions with various people at various times about doing a full optimization effort, but as of today, this has not bubbled up to the top of our priority list for our customers or our strategic hardware partners. Of course, X265 is open source and contributions are always welcomed. I went ahead and checked the X265 project's source code on GitHub and seen that ARM code is very rarely updated, whereas the X265 code is much more frequently maintained. It is safe to assume that H.265 software encoding performance on ARM devices like phones and tablets will not improve anytime soon. It might be possible to use the hardware encoders found in these devices to accelerate H.265 encoding massively. However, hardware encoders generally perform worse than software encoders in terms of quality, and they do not offer the rich selection of parameters that you can use with software encoders. For instance, I do not know any H.265 encoder that supports constant rate factor yet, which is my go-to encoding mode. In conclusion, if you want to use your spare Android or iPhone for H.265 video encoding, forget about it. It is painstakingly slow. I'm back to leaving my laptop on during the nights for rendering. However, I recently read that the latest generation of NVIDIA cards deliver excellent H.264 quality with their NVENC hardware encoder. If you want to check out the quality analysis video, the link is in the description. Well, if I decide to build a desktop render machine with NVIDIA hardware, I will test it on H.265 and let you guys know. Until then, peace.